Hey there do-it-yourself technicians, today I want to talk about one of my favourite iPhone apps, the iOS Shortcuts app. The iOS Shortcuts app, formerly called Workflow, is an app for Apple devices, is designed to draw multiple apps and features together to make complex tasks easier. It basically helps you create or choose from pre-made scripts to make something happen. A few weeks ago I mentioned in the Evernote app video up here, using a pre-made shortcut that recorded some audio and then saved it to Evernote. Another of the built-in examples allows you to select a photo and then it will show you where that photo was taken. It extracts the GPS data that's stored in the photo, then pops up a map and drops a pin at that point where the photo was taken. This is an example of a photo I took after my walk this morning. And here it is on a map showing exactly where I was standing at Lilidale Lake when I took that photo. The other built-in shortcuts I have here will pop up an alert when I arrive at work or I arrive home. It simply works by collecting some information and knowing how to process it. The process can be relatively simple like these or much more complicated. You can create them from scratch or use the gallery to find pre-made ones. This one is great for all of those people who run late to meetings. Tap running late and it looks up the next meeting in your calendar and the location that it's set for. It then works out how long it will take you to get from where you are to that destination and prepares a text ready for you to send to whoever you're having the meeting with saying how long it's going to take you to get there. Really handy if you're one of those people. That one wasn't made by me or selected from the gallery. I downloaded it from the internet. This can be a bit of a risk, so Apple actually disables this function by default. To allow it, you'll need to go to the settings menu, scroll down to shortcuts, and then turn on the feature to use shortcuts downloaded from the internet. Once you have a shortcut, you can either tap it from the shortcuts menu, or use Siri to start it. For example, I can start the recording to Evernote shortcut by saying, Hey Siri, rec to eNote. It will start the recording and off it goes. Just about perfect hands-free use. There's a million and one different uses for this. So, the question of the day is, what's your use going to be? Do you have something specific you want to do? Or maybe just have a look through the gallery and see if there's something that jumps out at you. Let me know in the comments down below what you find. And if this video was helpful, hit the thumbs up button. Thank you so much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and repair it if it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older episodes you may not have seen before here and here. And you can click on the Tech Doctor logo down here to subscribe and make sure to hit the bell icon to be notified of any new episodes as they come out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next episode.